The call comes with a cost. For those of you who know the story of Umber, you'll know only too well the ultimate cost uh, of following Jesus for our missionaries who were serving in Rhodesia. See, that story isn't unique. Uh, many followers of Jesus uh, throughout the ages have, have given their life, their very life, in refusal to deny Jesus, but in obedience to Jesus. See, for you and I, it may not cost us our life physically, literally in this moment, but be under no illusion, the call to follow Jesus is costly. It will mean that we lay down our agenda, our will, our desire, our, our goals for our life in order that we might pick up his. But also let me just encourage you that actually to follow Jesus wholeheartedly, to follow that call and to count the cost is the most liberating, the most life-giving, the most fulfilling thing that anyone could ever do. Jesus said, if you want to hold on to your life, you'll lose it. If you get, lay your life down for me, you will gain it. Having heard the call of Jesus, we have to count the cost. There, there is a cost to following Jesus. The call of Jesus is wonderful and magnificent. It is full of hope and life. And yet there is also a cost to it. To it. You see, for many of us, we may never face the, the threat of death for following Jesus. We may never be put on the spot and asked to deny him. Uh, in the, in the, with a, a veiled threat of violence. We may never, may never face that. And yet we deceive ourselves if we don't count the cost. Jesus asked Peter three times, well, do you love me? And I think the same call for us or the same challenge for us today is, do you love me? Do you love me more than these? Do you love me more than your life? Do you love me more than your job? Do you love me more than your career? Do you love me more than your family? Do you love me more than your church? Do you love me more than your position? Do you love me more than your car? Do you love me more than your bike? Do you love me more than your computer? Do you love me more than your... You fill in the blank. There is a cost to following Jesus. But that cost is so worth it because he is life itself. And we know for those who are in Christ Jesus, even if our life is taken, it is not the end. It is not the far, it does not have the final say. You see, Jesus conquered the grave and he is the resurrected savior. And so for everybody who dies in him, he is the resurrection and the life. The counting the cost is so, so worth it. The wonderful thing about responding to the call and counting the cost is that we don't do this life on our own. We don't walk with Jesus alone. It's not just a you and Jesus thing. It's not just a me and Jesus thing. It's a, a Jesus and us thing. It's us together collectively in community. You see, the, the, the counting the cost and, and following the call is done in relationship with one with another and with God. He invites us to participate in the greatest community, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the unity of the Godhead. We as, as individuals and collectively get to participate in this great community, and we get to demonstrate what that looks like on earth as it is in heaven. You see, we are called to walk together and work together and uh, encourage one another. That's why over the last few months, it has been such a privilege for us to see this expression of family uh, delivered through our ERA appeal. We have been able to work with our partners on our family overseas, Elon family overseas, to meet the needs of some of the most deprived people on the earth. And it's a great joy to be able to invite you, if you've not done so already, to contribute into this great work. We're in this together. When one suffers, we all suffer to suffer. You see, this global pandemic has affected us all, and yet for those of us who are called to be in Christ Jesus, we have an opportunity to demonstrate to a watching world what it is to love one another, even if the one another is in a far-flung place, across borders, across oceans, where we together can serve one another because we love one another. And may it send a powerful and a powerful message 
for watching you all.